You're about to hear a piece of the past. I'm Casey Kasem, and this is American Top 40. In just a few seconds, you'll be hearing the original tape of the first AT40 countdown ever broadcast. We're five years old today, and we're celebrating by rerunning our first show. It's from the 4th of July, 1970. And here it is. the top 40 hits in the nation this week on American Top 40, the best-selling and most played songs from the Atlantic to the Pacific, from Canada to Mexico. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood, and in the next three hours, we'll count down the 40 most popular hits in the United States this week, hot off the record charts of Billboard magazine for the week ending July the 11th, 1970. In this hour at number 32 in the countdown, a song that's been a hit four different times in 19 years. And we're just one tune away from the singer with the $10,000 gold hubcaps on his car. Now on with the countdown. Number 40. Here's Marvin Gaye, his hit, End of Our Road. Listening to a countdown of the 40 most popular songs in America. This is Casey Kasem on with the countdown. Number 39. Here's a star who doesn't spend all his money foolishly. Some of it went for gold hubcaps on his $72,000 rolls. In fact, he replaced all the chrome with 14 karat gold. And I'll bet he doesn't park it on the street. Mark Lindsay. Get aboard the Silver Bird, departing gate 19. Satisfy your Walter Mitty mind, trying out a dream. Your sign is Capricorn in every corner of your life Says you'll remain my friend, my friend until you're mine
crazy heart Beat those silver wings You pet up and we'll remember you And I'll carry your things We'll catch your running makeup And you will look just fine And you remain my friend My friend until you're mine Bird, Mark Lindsay, and we're counting them down on American Top 40. Casey's Coast to Coast. This is Casey. We're on a time trip today, exactly five years into the past. What you're hearing is a rerun of the first AT40 countdown ever broadcast. On the 4th of July, 1970, these were the 40 best-selling singles in America. American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood. On with the countdown. Number 38. All right, all you dream analysts, turn up the sound. Here's Eric Burden with his new group called War. And the song is called Spill the Wine. Caressing my face As I fell asleep And dreamed I dreamed I was in a Hollywood movie And that I was the star of the movie This really blew my mind The fact that me An overfed, long-haired, leaping gnome should be the star of a Hollywood movie. Mm. But there I was. Mm. I was taken to a place. The Hall of the Mountain King. I stood high up on a mountain top. Naked to the world. In front of.
she disappeared, but soon she returned. In her hand was a bottle of wine, in the other a glass. She poured some of the wine from the bottle into the glass and raised it to her lips. And just before she drank it, she said, Take the Spill the Wine, coming up a group that once went by the name Stonehenge. Casey's Coast to Coast. Nobody's equal under the sun. So C.A. has a tent for everyone. What do you want from the sun? All I can get. So for me, C.A. and Ski has golden tan. It lets lots of sunshine in. I want to control the sun. So for me, there's C.A. and Ski in the green bottle. It tans me dark, but won't let me burn. I want to get a jump on the sun. So for me, Sea and Ski has indoor-outdoor tanning lotion. I want my skin to glisten from the sun, and Sea and Ski's dark tanning oil does that. I want a tan that's rich and creamy. So for me, Sea and Ski has a dark tanning butter to let all the sun shine in. They may have all started out different, but with Sea and Ski, they all ended up with a tan that's brown, moist, and beautiful. Sea and Ski, we've got everything under the sun for under the sun. Sea and Ski. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem counting down the 40 top tunes nationwide. Number 37. Here's a group that changed its name from the esoteric to the whimsical. It was Stonehenge. Now it's Krabby Appleton. They have a hit called Go Back. Is gone. Well, I can't tell you 
with Go Back. Next, a top 40 debut song by the singer whose hit of last year won an Academy Award. Number 36. The Oscar for Best Song in a Motion Picture last year went to Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. B.J. Thomas sang it. And he had another hit earlier this year called Everybody's Out of Town. This week, his sensational new one debuts in the top 40. It's called I Just Can't Help Believing, B.J. Thomas. I just can't help believing When she smiles up soft and gentle With a trace of misty morning And the promise of tomorrow in her eyes Probably quite a few pastors of Negro Baptist churches in Detroit whose daughters sing or have sung in their choirs. But there's only one whose daughter is regarded by millions of fans as the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. I am getting the spirit in the dark.
Aretha, Spirit in the Dark. 34 to go on the countdown continues. Number 34. Well, this man has a string of 15 hits behind him. Here's former head papa of the Mamas and the Papas, John Phillips in Mississippi. M-I-S-S, I-S-S, I-S-S, I-S-S. Early in the morning, she hitched a ride down to Louisville. Holding on to a hundred dollar bill. Dressed herself like a Cajun queen in New Orleans, baby. Yeah, she looked good like a lady. Do it for me, James. Please me. Third hand on. Have a seat and take a load off your feet. She said, yeah. So I said, ooh, I like your dress. Swamps all around make you feel kind of funny, don't they, honey? She crossed her legs and looked at me funny Sit down on the bayou Why you never know just what you're doing Down on the bayou Why you never know just what you're doing What you're doing Down on the bayou Why you never know just what you're doing Down on the bayou Why you never know just what you're doing Just Mississippi, John Phillips. Casey's Coast to Coast. Prison guards threatened with suspension. 70 degrees at 1026. New York environment, partly sunny, showers likely. Roberto Altman, WPIX News, in touch. Correction officials this morning are considering the suspension of prison guards at the Queen's House of Detention. The guards staged a wildcat sick out last night and this morning to protest the layoffs of department employees and heavy overtime requirements. Three guards have already been suspended for refusing to work overtime. A union spokesman said guards were receiving $700,000 a month in overtime, which is more than the city was paying the guards that were laid off because of the budget crisis. At Rikers Island, several minor mattress and rubbish fires were set, and inmates refused to be locked in their cells for a brief period. Assemblyman John Deary of the Bronx asked over 1,800 New Yorkers yesterday various questions on New York City's fiscal problems and solutions. One item the survey dealt with, the importance of city services. They were, out of the original six that we placed before them, the top four in order were police, fire, education and sanitation. With regard to what the future layoff policy should be, uh, there was clearly a support, uh, more than a majority, for the firing policy that would be on a selected basis, which would mean that all city services would be reduced, but some would be reduced at a lower rate. Deary says he'll present his findings to Mayor Beam, the Board of Estimate, and the state legislature. Leading big city mayors began gathering in Boston today for this week's annual U.S. Conference of Mayors. The mayors are coming to Boston amid another series of budget crises that have plagued the city since the late 60s. 
forcing layoffs, reducing services, and hiking taxes. The president of the conference, San Francisco Mayor Joseph Aliotto, told the news conference yesterday that the seeds of New York City's troubles are in every American city. Mayor Beam still must decide how many of the 19,000 city employees he laid off can be returned to their jobs. A $330 million local tax increase approved by the state will get many employees back on the payroll. Meanwhile, New York paid sanitation men time and a half to help clean up thousands of tons of garbage left uncollected during a four-day wildcat walkout in protest over the layoffs. New York has solved its garbage problems, and Waterbury, Connecticut, is hoping to do the same. Striking sanitation workers there are scheduled to meet today to vote on a tentative agreement to end a wildcat strike. About 150 garbage men, truck drivers, and mechanics walked off the job early Thursday when they were told they'd be given July 4th off, but they'd have to work on Saturday. Rock guitarist Keith Richard of the Rolling Stones was charged with illegal knife possession yesterday after a car he was driving was stopped for a traffic violation in Arkansas. Police say a companion was charged with possessing a controlled substance. An attorney says Richard was released after posting a $162 bond on charges of reckless driving and possessing an, an illegal weapon. We'll check the sports and weather in a moment. The stylistics for McDonald's. You, you're the one. and dad now the kids can have mcdonald land happy cups for summer thirsts and fun they can get ronald mcdonald big mac captain crook and hamburglar happy cups and you get one 16 ounce cup free when you buy a large soft drink or if you wish you can buy them for 10 cents each offer good while supply lasts at participating mcdonald's in the metropolitan new york area McDonald's, we do it all for you Pick sports, the Yankees increased their losing streak by losing to Baltimore 5-2. to two. The Mets didn't look too good either. They dropped two games to the Phillies last night, the first 8-2, to two, the second 10-7. to seven. Today, the Yankees will have two chances to break their losing streak as they host Baltimore in a doubleheader. Starting pitchers for the Yankees, first game Pat Dobson, second game Larry Gura. The Mets are in Philadelphia, starting pitcher for that game Hank Webb. Unbeaten Philly, Ruffian, is favored to meet Kentucky Derby winning cult Foolish Pleasure in a $350,000 match race at Belmont Park. American Top 40 is next. New York environment, air quality expected to be unhealthy. Partly sunny and quite warm with a few showers likely today. High mid-80s in the 70s at the beaches. Tomorrow, cloudy with a chance of afternoon and evening thunder showers. Outlook for Tuesday, chance of showers continued warm and humid. Right now it's 70 degrees. Portions pre-taped. Robert Altman, In Touch. WPIX FM, In Touch with New York. It's 10.32. If you tuned in late and the songs in the countdown this week seem more like oldies than current hits, it's okay. Because you're hearing a piece of the past. American Top 40 is five years old today and we're celebrating by rerunning the first countdown we did on the 4th of July, 1970. American Top 40. Top 40 originates in Hollywood. My name is Casey Kasem, and the countdown goes on. Number 33. Fourth week among the 40 top tunes in the Billboard chart. Here's westbound number nine. It's by the Flaming Ember. WPIX-FM, in touch with New York. It's 12.32. If you tuned in late and the songs in the countdown this week seem more like oldies than current hits, it's okay. Because you're hearing a piece of the past. American Top 40 is five years old today and we're celebrating by rerunning the first countdown we did on the 4th of July, 1970. American Top 40. 
40. And the countdown continues with a half a dozen hits to go. Number six. Well, this young singer has become popular in the United States almost overnight. And she did become popular overnight in Holland, and you can forget the almost. You see, it seems that during her recent European tour, she had a day off between engagements in England and France. And so she stopped in Holland to do some guest shots and a couple of television shows and was an instant smash, to the extent that, according to polls, a record of hers can be found in every other Dutch household. She goes by one name, Melanie. Yeah. is Lay Down. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem with American Top 40. Number five. Her first song in the top ten, She's Free to Pain.
Champagne with Band of Gold. Coming up, the top four tunes of the nation. Casey's Coast to Coast. You will find it can't be beat, folks. Have it your way. Big appetite? Have it your way in a big way. Have a Burger King double meat hamburger or double meat cheeseburger. Not one, but two big, tasty, 100% beef patties. Flame broiled just so. Delicious. And you can get a double meat hamburger or cheeseburger your way without a lot of waiting. Double meat hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Double the meat, not double the money. Have them your way in a big way. Have it your way goes double now at Burger King. Have it your way, have it your way, have it your way, Burger King. Have Congratulations to Frank Idoni of Grand Street, Manhattan. He's the winner of a beautiful Disco 102 t-shirt. Disco 102 t-shirts. Time to get one on from WPIXFM. Call area code 212-972-0300. Okay, I'm going to take the ninth call from Westchester or Long Island. That's Westchester or Long Island, the ninth call. American Top 40. And the countdown continues. Number four. Here's a group that's mostly from Florida singing about California. It seems there are these 73 guys who just keep cruising up and down the San Francisco Bay. Here's Blue's Image. Captain Ride. This is Casey Kasem. We're down to the third best-selling song in America, and here is number three. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
Attempts are trying to tell us something about air pollution, revolution, gun control, sound of soul, shooting rockets to the moon, kids growing up too soon. Politicians say more taxes will solve everything, and the band played on. So round and round and round we go. Where the world's headed, nobody knows. You see, it's just a ball of confusion. People moving out, people moving in. Why? Because of the color of the skin. Run, 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 but you sure can't hide. The Temptations. Next up, I'll have the Mini Temptations. Casey's Coast to Coast. Appetite? Have it your way in a big way. Have a Burger King double meat hamburger or double meat cheeseburger. Not just one, but two big, tasty, 100% beef patties. Flame broiled, just so. Delicious. And you can get a double meat hamburger or cheeseburger your way without a lot of waiting. Double meat hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Double the meat, not double the money. Have them your way in a big way. Have it your way goes double now at Burger King. Congratulations to Carmine Soltarelli of New Street in Uniondale, Long Island, Frank Idoni of Grand Street in New York, and Alan Fisher of Spring Street in Red Bank, New Jersey. They're all winners of the Disco 102 t-shirt. And you keep listening because Jim Horns is going to be coming on a little later, and he's going to give you another chance to win a Disco 102 t-shirt. This is Casey. You're listening to a rerun of the first AT40 countdown ever broadcast, exactly five years ago. American Top 40. Two to go, and the countdown continues. Number two. I call them the mini temptations because when they're on stage, they are as flashy as the temptations are today. And all of the reviews say it. Stop. Love You Saved by the Jackson 5. Now, before we get to this week's new number one song, let's take a look back at the number one song five years ago today. It was by an English group that Time Magazine said were scruffy, wore outrageous clothes, flashed no toothy smiles, and brazenly thumped their noses at the adult world, and still rode the crest of a fantastic success. Wonder why they wrote this song.
satisfaction, the Rolling Stones. This is Casey Kasem with American Top 40. We've counted down 39 of this week's 40 best-selling songs in the country. Well, that leaves only one. And it moved into the top spot just this week. And as far as I know, this group has never explained exactly why they chose their weird name. But they do tell us where they found it. On chilly nights, the Aborigines of Australia took a dog to bed with them to keep warm. On colder nights, they'll take two dogs. And when it really gets cold, they need three dogs to keep from freezing. Now that's a cold night. A three-dog night. Billboard's number one. for the 40 top hits in America this week. Our countdown is based on Billboard's tabulation of the top 100 popular records for the week ending July the 11th, 1970. American Top 40 is written and produced by Don Bastani. Statistics, Ben Marischel. Mixed by Bill Hergensen. Executive producer is Tom Rons. Well, this is Casey Kasem, and I hope I'll see you again next week. Can we count on it? Because we're going to count down the 40 most popular songs in the country. Until then, keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Hold it. Before you reach, let me explain one final time that those words you just heard were originally spoken and recorded exactly five years ago. You've been listening to a special rerun of the first AT40 countdown ever broadcast on the 4th of July, five years ago. Next week, we come back to the present with our up-to-date weekly countdown. Okay, now you can reach for those stars. This hour of American Top 40 was brought to you by Burger King. Have it your way, have it your way, have it your way, Burger King. When you want a lot to eat, folks, order it with double meat, folks, you will find it can't be beat, folks, have it your way. 
big appetite? Have it your way in a big way. Have a Burger King double meat hamburger or double meat cheeseburger. Not one, but two big, tasty, 100% beef patties. Flame broiled just so. Delicious. And you can get a double meat hamburger or cheeseburger your way without a lot of waiting. Double meat hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Double the meat, not double the money. Have them your way in a big way. Have it your way goes double now at Burger King. Have it your way. 